Okay, now let's get some more information on the investigation that has found that the former sports minister, Figele Mbalula, is in hot water. Barry Bateman is eyewitness news reporter and is joining us now via Skype. He's got this exclusive story for eyewitness news. Barry, good morning and thank you very much uh, for your time. Let's just go back to the beginning. I mean, how come, uh, how, how, how did it come about uh, uh, this story to follow up and find out whether or not a sporting goods firm bankrolled Figi Limbalula's trip to Dubai at the time he was still sports minister? Yeah, good morning. Well, I'd received a tip in July, and it was several months ago, that uh, Minister Fakila Mbalula had uh, uh, gone to Dubai on holiday. It was for himself, his wife, his three children. Um, it was from the 27th of December, and they returned on the 3rd of January. Uh, that in itself is not an issue, and, and, and I made as much clear to the minister. But I'd heard, and the tip was, that this was not paid for by the minister. It was paid for by a third party. So the simple question was, well, who paid for it? And the concern is that there was a potential conflict of interest. At that time, I did not know who had in fact paid for uh, the trip. And the immediate response from Minister Mbalula was that, uh, you know, he, he, he protested that this was an invasion of his privacy. Um, he said any questions about a private holiday are, are you know, uh, incorrect. I shouldn't be asking him. And, and they are private matters. And, uh, he, you know, he said he reserved his right and was quite upset about me asking. Um, and I moved along, but I, I started scratching around. What I'd since managed to establish is that in February, um, a company by the name of Raymond Uniforms paid an a travel agent 300,000 rand, and this was for this uh, 680,000 rand trip. I don't know how the remainder of the uh, uh, balance was settled, but we know for a fact that 300,000 rand was paid by a company called Raymond Uniforms. Now, what I've managed to establish is that Raymond Uniforms is almost like a shell company. It's, it's a dormant company, no employees and the like. But what it is used as is a conduit from funds for a company called Sedgar Sports. Sedgar Sports uses Raymond Uniforms um, accounts to channel funds to and from other companies. Sedgar Sports is a Sascox supplier, and in particular, it provides Team South Africa with uh, clothing, uh, not, not so much the tracksuits, but more formal attire and the like, and additional clothing that uh, uh, the, 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 the sports people would actually wear. So here presents the conflict of interest. At the time, Fikile Mbalula was the Minister no, of Sport. Now, Barry... Now, yeah, sorry, Perry, just before you carry now, on that thing, the, the conflict with the minister being sports and, of course, Setgas uh, supplying uniforms, as you said, uh, to, to, to Suscock, the, uh, the, the, the council. Have we established uh, a, a motive for this? Was this around a, a, a contract for the uniforms? Just to firmly establish the possible conflict here. No, there is, we don't have any, if, if this was a quid pro quo type of relationship. But what we do know, at the very least, this does present a conflict of interest. And that is how I've approached it with the minister, just simply putting to him, as the minister of support, here is a supplier to Sascock, and they have paid possibly 680,000 Rand for a private holiday. And the response from the minister has been outright to reject any questions related to this. He simply refuses to answer anything, citing um, uh, privacy issues. So there, there is nothing to suggest that there was corruption at this stage. But on the facts that we do know, it does present a conflict of interest that in the absence of any reasonable explanation, um, demands an answer from the minister. So the minister does not seem, from what you are saying, when you asked him earlier how he got to Dubai or whether at all there was this uh, 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 apparent conflict, he didn't seem to be seeing it. What did he actually say to you at the time you put the question to him besides expressing his irritation with you? Well, he, he said quite clearly, and I can quote him, it was an invasion of privacy. Uh, but when I try to explain that, I'm, I'm not interested in the fact that he was on a holiday with his family, but it's mere or more the funding related to this particular holiday. He said that that was a, a, an inference that I had drawn and that merely questioning him on this issue is uh, malice on my part. He accused me of, uh, you know, Minister Mbalula has some, you know, phrases that he likes to use. He accused me of journalistic gymnastics. 
um, that I was able to reach a conclusion that there was any uh, untoward behavior on his behalf. But he has essentially rejected. Uh, what he did say is that uh, if there's any questions to be asked, it should be put to the Parliamentary Ethics Committee. Now, I do understand that uh, the ministers have a period of time in which they have to declare any travel. It's set out in the, the, the Code of Conduct for parliamentarians. Um, we haven't had any conclusion or, or any clear answers there whether he has in fact declared this to Parliament. Okay, finally, before I let you go, uh, uh, Barry, Raymond, Sedgers, Saskok, other people you've mentioned or other organizations you've mentioned and you found along through, during your investigation on behalf of Eyewitness News. Did you speak to any of them and what have they said to you very briefly? Yeah, I, I spoke to, uh, I've, I've had email correspondence with the director of Sedgar's, uh, Yusuf Dokrat. He has denied any uh, payment from Sedgar's to settle this account um, and asked about the relationship with Raymond Uniforms. He rejected, saying it's a purely uh, a, a client and a supplier relationship. But what I've managed to establish, there's significant links between um, Raymond and this particular company. And I'll just quickly go through it. Dokrat is a former director of a company called Barnes of Investment. Now, its postal address is 2372 Verenigen. Now that's the exact same um, uh, postal address for Raymond Uniforms. The current director of Raymond Uniforms is a Zakir Dokrat, who's believed to be a, a relative of Yusuf Dokrat. All of this to Dokrat, saying there's certainly on the face of it a closer relationship between Sedgers and Raymond Uniforms, apart from the information I have about the banking details, he simply said he wasn't going to answer any further questions. Okay, we know that you said it's about 300,000 rand that was uh, allegedly paid on behalf of the minister for former Minister of Sports for that trip. We don't know yet who paid the remainder. Eyewitness News reporter Barry Bateman joining us via Skype to shed some more light on his investigation involving Figi Lembalula, who was a sports minister at the time, he undertook a trip with his family, a private trip to his family on holiday to Dubai, but apparently paid for by a supplier of uh, uniforms to Suscox, our athletics Olympic organization.